HLS Show Me How. Reuse a planner plan as a template. Hi, my name is Mike Giannotti and I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist for the Microsoft Corporation. I work in our healthcare and life sciences division. You can always find me and my colleagues and post at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. All right, so we're going to be doing a demonstration today based off of a uh, user request where they wanted to reuse a plan Microsoft Planner plan where you can assign tasks and you can color code it and do a number of other things for some basic project management. And they wanted to have a single plan that they then reused over and over, a common scenario where folks want to take, let's say, a project plan template and have that be able to be reused repetitively with consistency. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to demonstrate how that is done. Uh, it's a fairly straightforward process. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo. All right. So for our demonstration, I have gone into the Microsoft Planner section. If you go here into the App Launcher, I've actually pinned mine, but it's under All Apps. You will find it here. Certainly you can find it in places like Microsoft Teams, for example, where you can go and let's say, we'll look at this one where we have an actual planner. Here's an event plan. Um, and you can go from Teams as well. Just simply click go to website and it's gonna take you to the planner plan. So now I can see an event plan, project plan and test plan to copy. We're gonna use the test plan to copy. I could use any of these plans. Um, and actually I'll do, I'll do that as a quick follow-up to show you what it will do though, is strip out the personal information out of here, but keep the basic tasks and structure. But let's go ahead to test plan to copy. You can see I have a very basic plan here. I have schedule the project kickoff, you know, and I color code it as important, create project charter. So we have some basic tasks that are here. To go ahead and use this as a template, we simply come up here to the three little uh, dots. We're gonna select copy plan, and then we can name that. So I'll say this is the uh, new plan from copy, just so that we'll be able to recognize that. Help if I spell that right, there we go. Lowercase, I have the option, do I want this public or private? Private, only members I add can see the plan content. Public, anyone can see that. We'll just go ahead and select that. We select under options, we could give a description. Um, I'm just gonna leave that blank and we're gonna click copy plan. Notice it says it's now copying the plan. Your new copy will appear in recent plans. There's nothing for you to do. You do not have to paste the plan. You don't have to instantiate it. It's going to create that plan right here underneath. So I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh. We'll see if it's there yet. Not quite yet, so it's still doing its thing under the hood. But let's go ahead then while we're waiting and we'll do the same here with this event plan so we can see how that's working. So we're gonna come here. We'll select for this one because it has an overall structure. We'll say this is new event plan and I saw something refresh there new plan from copy and we'll make that one public as well we click uh, copying plan meanwhile there's that new plan from copy same settings are all here so it's maintained that I can go in then I can do some editing you know if I wanted to I can go into the plan settings I can send an email edit the group of people but we now have a, a new plan that was created off of that original test plan to copy. Conversely, we also from this event plan created one and we copied this. So that is actually going behind the scenes and there it is. So again, now you can see it has maintained the to do, the presentation press, the venue, team travel. All these pieces have been uh, brought over the difference being between that one and the event plan is it hasn't added dates yet because again, we don't know those dates, but the, the submit your expenses is there. And it also has not added individuals to those components either, right? So the personal personalized pieces that would be with that individual plan were not brought, but 
with that new individual plan, all those pieces were there. So now we can attribute it to people and times and do all those things that we need to do. It's all finished, ready for us. And again, we can edit this. If we go into plan settings, we can edit the name. We can edit the group, who's a member of this, etc., and then take advantage. So uh, very simple. You simply select, again, copy the plan. It will go through, it will do its thing, it'll copy it, it'll create that copy. You can then go ahead and customize it as need be. So that's it, copying a plan from a original master. It's simple, it's easy. Uh, you simply go into the planner section for an individual plan, select copy, and it will then do its thing and then you can customize it as need be. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. If you need more information, you can always find me and my colleagues, as I mentioned, at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. And you can also find me on LinkedIn at Mike Gennati. But with that, this is Mike Gennati bidding you have a great day. Take care and as always, ciao.